As solar panels become more commonplace for a source of energy, there's a new push for developing other ways to generate energy. NBC's Gordon Severson has the details on how scientists are now looking to transfer humidity into electricity. Drawing energy from humidity may sound like something out of a science fiction movie, but at one point, so is drawing energy from the sun or the wind, and now it's everywhere. In the base science, Makes sense. I think it's viable. Nina Axelson is the president of Grid Catalyst, a Minnesota group that helps green energy startups grow and enter the marketplace. She says what this research team in Massachusetts is doing with humidity is very interesting. So for me, it's it's exciting. I'm not quite at the point yet to say this is going to be the game changer. That's because right now Axelson says it's just an idea. Here's how it works. The researchers say, think about a cloud in the sky. It's nothing more than a massive grouping of water droplets. Each of those droplets has a charge, and when conditions are right, you get lightning. These researchers believe that by creating a very thin material with nanopores, tiny holes that are 1,000 times thinner than a human hair, theoretically, we could move water droplets in the air through this thin material and capture their energy. They've only done things at this really small scale, so some of that big challenge in emerging tech is how do you move something from idea to prototype to scale to deployment? Even if this idea works, Axelson says it could be five to 10 years before we have machines that can power our homes with humidity. But even if this idea doesn't work out, she says it will likely inspire others to create the next big thing. It's never been a more exciting time for energy discovery, invention, innovation. The clean tech landscape is so cool right now. That's Gordon Severson reporting. Sounds like a big challenge, but could be cool if they could pull it off. Interesting stuff.